Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Mr. Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at using fusion mats inside the color section of Resolve. This is something that someone much smarter than me was wondering how to do, so I figure I would spend some time and figure out how to do it myself and then share it with all of you guys. So this will be really handy if you've got someone who can roto like really specific products or stuff that you can really isolate colors on, especially using something like the color compressor tool. But that's enough babbling on, we're going to drop into DaVinci Resolve and see we've got this lovely shot here. And we'll go into the Fusion page and you see we've got Media In and Media Out. And this Media Out is a secret to our success. But first, we're just going to go ahead and drop down a background control space. And then we're going to go grab one of these little lines here. And we'll just pretend like we're going to make a really good mat of this. Because it's just, it's really important. It's a special bandana. It filters bad juju and smells like candles, but like really nice candles. So there is our mat, and now we'll go ahead and merge this background together with our footage. It's like that, and you can see we've got a mat going there. We'll go ahead and set our background color to white instead of black, just because that's how that works. And look how gorgeous that looks. We'll soften this out, and we'll do a really excellent job, just a really excellent job animating this by going forward here and clicking our polyline scrolling out, selecting these points, hitting shift B to go to our shape box just to make it a little easier. And there we go. Shift B again, select these points, pull it down. Wow, great job, Theo. And we'll go to the first frame. And this is just going to track really well. We'll select all these, drag them down. Select all these again, hold down T, click and drag. You can twist this around where you click. And this is just a really fabulous mat, really professional quality. And now what we're going to do is be able to take this mat and send it out to our color page. So you see you've got this media out node here, and this corresponds to this node right here. So this little green dot is basically connects up to here. So how can we get another green dot? We'll right click and go to add source. And I see we've got two of these little green dots. Let me clap these clips so we get a little more room here. So now what we can do is go to Fusion, and you can do this in either order. Control space, media out. And now we'll just connect our background to our media out too. We don't need this merge node. And now you can see we've got our footage coming through. And if we view our media out, we get this nice mat over here. So we go over to color, and we'll hit Alt L, create a layer mixer node, and drag this up here. And the thumbnails still don't really update very well, but you know I'm sure they'll fix this one of these days. But now you can see we've got our mat coming through, and our footage here. So now let's say we want to actually use this mat to do something. So we'll go ahead and delete this, connect this back up, and create another layer mixer node, Alt L. And, you know, the obvious thing to do would be to connect the alpha output to the alpha output of here, right? But that doesn't work. What you can actually do, which I just learned today, is you can actually connect the color output to the alpha input of here, and it'll just take the luminance. And now you can see we get our mat going. So we can go ahead and just invert this guy and see our mat is a little bit too soft here so what we'll do is go back into our fusion tab and just take off the softness there we go you can see for some reason the output of fusion is a little bit janky in the color page but if you hop over to the edit page and we'll just drop this on here it looks fine so i'm not sure what's up with that if you know what causes that you should let me know because i think that's very interesting but until then, we've got our little mat looking good here. We can maybe blur our key a little bit, just to have some fun. And now we can make, you know, this different with that really excellent mat that we made. But if you have nicer ones where people actually spend the time rotoing, this can be very useful. Or if you just have a composite with a bunch of different stuff, you can send those out as different layers in your color. You can do even more like color compositing inside the color panel, which I think is very cool. So if you've got like a scene that you tracked in 3D and then you added 
in some like set extensions and matte paintings to that, you can have the main thing coming in on one layer and then the other stuff on another and you are good to go. So anyway, hope that helped you out a little bit. If you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, please to subscribe to Misty Media YouTube channel. If you want even more goodness, check out MistyMedia.com slash products. We've got all sorts of good stuff. There's a new LUT pack out that I think works really well. It has a name now, but I haven't updated in here. We've got all sorts of, look at that, cool stuff. So you don't have to do any work and you can get stuff that looks like a YouTube video real fast. So that's mistymedia.com slash products. This is from the Beauty Lutz pack, which I just released. There's also the Swiss Lutz, which people are just mad for. House Lutz, the OGs, all sorts of good stuff. There's stock footage, just or just go click around. There's also some free stuff. There's a couple free Lutz. Hey, everyone likes free Lutz. That's what Google tells me. But anyway, that's enough rambling on. Once again, I've been Theo with Media. Have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>